What's up guys, Anders here with another Black Desert video. Remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload my next video. Remember, bell is good. Today I wanted to go over a beginner guide for Sage Awakening PvE. This is basically version 1.0, so release Sage Awakening. It's going to be changing down the road, but... It's basically meant to get your bearings with the spec of Awakening. Now I have four combos for you guys to try out and use. The first is a sort of standard PvE combo using the normal Chain Lightning Spear Bolt Opener. I think most people should be using at least in the start of their combo. And it does decent damage. It's for the majority of places you're going to be grinding. If you don't do enough damage or you're not killing mobs with that combo, you can try the second combo, which I think is a bit more involved but it deals a lot more damage you're gonna start with shock relay for the buff into the chain lightning spear bolt opener and you add rising storm and spacebar into the combo for more damage it's decent useful in elvia zones especially if you're gonna be doing a lot of grinding there as well so the third is i like to call the lazy pve combo if you're grinding things that die pretty quickly or you're not too worried about being efficient the worst thing about this combo is honestly you're gonna be slow casting lightning prison but it's a good time to get a cup of tea while you check your dms check on that baby you're supposed to be taken care of before you move on to the next pack and using this combo and the fourth and final combo is frankly my favorite i have a spear bolt addiction this skill is just too fun not to use so this combo uses it plus the aftershock flow as much as possible the damage is still surprisingly okay so give it a go if you want to have some fun zooming around the grind spot while you are killing some monsters definitely don't do this too much on uh, elvia zones if you are going to i use shift e as well to give me some more iframe since sage is a little bit on the squishy side especially in those areas as for add-ons mine are still a work in progress but i've highlighted the ones i think are sort of core you want to have these all the time you really want to experiment with giving add-ons to skills that you like to use in combos and of course this is just for pve for pvp you're gonna want to change some things uh, of course but for example you wouldn't be taking chain lightning i think you'd want to take like lightning surge or spear bolt for example if you're going to be doing more pvp and sort of like a hybrid add-on situation so play around with it as for grinding we're going to go over four spots so uh, blood wolves sherikan starzen and elvia orcs so i chose blood wolves specifically because it's one of the more common spots you're going to be grinding um, early on if you're like season gear or even if you're a veteran player and you've been playing for a while you have a little bit more gear uh, but you want to grind for that infinite potion a lot of people grinding there uh, you're gonna have to deal with some pvp more than likely right so it's some duel for spots uh, so you'll be doing some pvp and you want to run some hybrid add-ons uh, for the most part grinding there was pretty chill obviously you're gonna be killing things pretty quickly with all the aoe that sage awakening has available to them and in terms of defending your spot it's not going to be too hard either because sage awakening is not too bad for you know those kind of duel for spots in these kind of areas where pretty much as long as you have some sort of idea what, of what you're doing you should be okay with a class like uh, sage awakening with a lot of iframes a lot of movement and a range grab now i chose sherry khan which is the same situation I don't think as PvP heavy, so you, in my experience at least, you won't be having too much trouble on that front. But I chose Sherikan because their CCs are pretty annoying if you're not careful about staying protected. The nice thing about Sage Awakening is that I found that even if you're using unprotected skills like Spear Bolt, for example, and Aftershock Flow, you're not really going to be getting hit often by the mobs because you're moving so quickly and such long distances so that's really nice it was a pretty chill grind again the mobs die pretty quickly since you have such strong aoe and you can take a chill with like a standard combo like i showed you in a spot like this now star's end is one of the more i guess high-end areas i guess you could still say it's a high-end area even though we have elvia servers now star's end really good i was surprised how good sage awakening was here honestly i was for the i grinded about an hour or so and i had no idea what i was doing half the time and it still felt like i was pulling okay i, I did 
fairly decently considering I uh, I was just kind of bullshitting half the time. And then I started doing some real combos and everything started speeding up quite a bit. So the best thing about Sage in Star's End is that you have Chain Lightning. And it's just so good because the AoE is huge, the range is so good, and it just helps you pull mobs in. And the main reason why maybe you're not getting as good trash as other people in Star's End is really going to be the pulls the pulls matter so the better your pulls the better your trash per hour that's just how stars end works so overall i thought sage awakening was really good in stars end it's going to be a matter of you getting the pulls right getting used to that that just takes time honestly and then learning the combos as you progress through the whatever rotation you're using so not too bad there honestly no complaints now elvia orcs uh that took a little getting used to on sage Mainly, I was worried about his squishiness, so I've noticed that, especially in PvP, he's extremely squishy. And having played Archer for a while, I can tell you that that's not a good time in Elvia spot. So it was concerning, but he does have a lot of iframes and a lot of mobility, so you have to use that to your advantage. After you do that, you can have a more chill time there. I wouldn't say you're not going to be sweating sometimes because, you know, maybe you'll get stuck on something, which happens. Uh, but you have ways of getting out of that. Shift Q is so good of getting out of any spot where you're kind of stuck. Forward F is so good because you're moving distances and the damage is really good on that with Aftershock Flow. So there's a lot of things that you can use. I would recommend you maybe adding on an HP add-on to your Lightning, Lightning Prison skill to give you some more HP back. Make sure you're using Frenzies. Make sure you're not taking too many hits in the face because uh, although Sage Awakening has a lot of super armor, you want to be utilizing uh, frontal guard skills like Shift F, for example, into the F flow, things like that. But overall, surprisingly, he did really well in uh, Elvia Orcs at least. And even though I did get chunked a couple of times, overall, once you got the lights going and everything, it felt pretty good. It felt like a normal elvia orc grind to be honest so it, it was surprisingly good for sage and that's pretty much it for this one guys what combos have you thought up for sage awakening let me know in the comments or over on our community discord we're now public and accepting new members so follow the link react to the comment to get your member role and say hello as always guys thanks again for watching thanks for listening i'll see you all in the next one take care